Hello everyone. Welcome to another video series on Dynamics 365. In the previous video series, we talked about Dynamics 365 sales. And in this video series, we will be talking about Dynamics 365 for customer service. And particularly in this video, we will be discussing on the introduction of Dynamics 365 customer service. Okay. And this Dynamics 365 customer service is again uh, similar to D365 sales where the sales hub application was built on top of Microsoft Dataverse, right? And similar to that, here uh, within D365 for customer service, we have something called customer service hub or customer service workspace apps that are built on top of Microsoft Dataverse. And using these applications, we will be able to do the complete customer service management. And this customer service management will include a step-by-step -step process of solving any customer issue. And particularly this model will be able to uh, help us solving our customer issues, answering their queries and also capture the feedback given by our customers. And within customer service model, you can see these are all the different individual components working together. We have customers, activities, cases, queues and routing roles, knowledge articles, SLA, entitlements, automatic record creation and update roles business closure or holiday schedule and then customer service schedule okay and in this video we will not go in depth into customer service model instead we will be talking about the introduction of each and every component and in the coming video series we will be discussing each and every functionality in detail Queues are the place or location where the activities and the cases can be stored and then can be processed. Okay. Basically, case creation is a manual process or automated process, but after the cases are created, it needs to be assigned or it needs to be put into a proper bucket so that the cases can be resolved, right? For that, we will be using this queues as a bucket. The queues can be a public queue or private queue. If it is public queue, then all the members of the organization will be able to see the queue items in case if it is a private queue only the members who are added to that queue will be able to access the queue items okay and whenever a case is created we also have another logic called routing rules basically this routing rules and queues will work together okay routing rules will have lot of conditions defined to automatically assign the incoming cases to a different queue 
for example if the case is created by a premium customer then we need to have a premium support ticket bucket or premium support ticket queue and if the case is created by some other customer then we need to have a different queue and all those assignments will be managed by these routing rules within case record we will be having a button called save and route and also we will be having a button called add to queue these two buttons will determine to which queue the record should be assigned okay when we get into the details of case queues and routing rules i will explain you all the components in detail but for now you just need to understand that the issue will be raised under cases and then we have something called queues and routing rules queues is like a bucket where the cases to be stored and routing rules will have the condition and based on the conditions the case records will be assigned to a queue okay and these queues can be created for individual users or for team as well maybe we can have one uh, senior support team and a junior support team or we can have different support teams for uh, different products for example for washing machine we, we can have one support team for uh, ac we can have another support team it is based on our re business requirement we can create multiple queues okay and then we have something called knowledge articles knowledge articles are the information articles or the repository which are used by the customer service representatives or agents to resolve customer queries or to resolve customer issues okay uh, in our in any organization there can be multiple support agents but not all of them will be able to resolve all the queries right one person might be uh, having knowledge on some product and some another support agent will have knowledge on some other product but anyway uh, if a support ticket is created in the system the agent should be able to resolve that issue right for that they need to have some documentations and that documentations or information articles can be captured within the knowledge article functionality of dynamics 365 okay and with the help of customer service uh, application we will be able to do the complete knowledge management knowledge article management uh, it involves creating the article and we can send it for review to the knowledge manager and he will be able to approve or reject the article and then the article will be published so that other users or the other support agents will be able to use that knowledge article okay and then we have something called sla slas are nothing but service level agreement sla explains the level of service that can be offered to customers okay here the companies can define the level of service based on the products and the customer needs for example if there is a broadband issue then the corresponding company should fix that issue in next one hour or two hours but if there is any issue related to a television or any setup box then they can take some time of up to uh, two days or they can take some eight hours time to fix that issue and similarly if the issue has been raised by a premium customer then they need to provide a quicker support so the, these are some of the examples of service level agreements that the companies need to maintain okay the purpose of service level agreement is to track the success and the failures on the commitments to customers when we get into the actual demo in the coming video series i will be explaining you how to create sla how to create sla items and how to set up sla kpis like first response kpi or resolution by kpi etc okay now we will move on to entitlements Entitlements define how much support a customer can avail from the company. It can be based on the number of support cases or the number of hours of support. For example, you might have noticed like whenever we purchase a water purifier, after purchasing for the next one year, the company will provide four free service visits, right? This is one example of entitlement, okay? and when we get into the demo i will explain you how to create entitlements how to do entitlement configuration settings and then uh, we will talk about setting up the default entitlement for the individual customer and then we will be talking about how to uh, create entitlement channels and how to set up entitlement terms okay and then we have something called automatic record creation and update rules so this is basically converting activity into a dynamics 360 record for example converting a phone call activity to a case record or converting a email activity to a uh, case record okay in, in if you talk uh, from sales perspective where they want to convert the phone call activity to a lead record or email activity to an opportunity record okay 
and uh, regarding this functionality already i have uh, made a video on that explaining the end-to-end -end process of how to uh, set up automatic record creation and update rules and how to use it within sales application and customer service application okay i will give you the link in the description i would request you to kindly check it out check it out if you want to learn about automatic record creation and update rules okay and then we have something called business closures and customer service schedule this business closure can also be called as holiday schedule any organization should maintain their holiday schedule right whether they are declaring holiday for independence day or they are declaring holiday on uh, new year day or christmas day so all those holidays should be maintained properly in the system so that it will be used by the sales team as well as the customer service team okay so that is something we will see how to set up a business closures and the holiday schedule okay and then we have something called customer service schedule uh, business closure is something we'll talk about the holidays okay but this customer service schedule will talk about how the uh, how or when the service agents will be available in some companies they will give 24 bar 7 support and in some companies they will give support only uh, from monday till friday or some companies uh, will have support from 9 to 6 pm some companies will have support from 9 to uh, 8 pm so those kind of timings and when the support agents will be available so those kind of things will be set up inside this customer service okay uh, basically these are the important uh, components within customer service model in our coming videos we will be talking about each and every functionality in detail okay we will see how to use it how to set up the things and uh, we will see a couple of uh, scenarios real life scenarios for each and every component till that i would request you to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video